Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geospatials. So in this tutorial we are going to be learning geometries and this is going to be a super intense tutorial. So by now you should grab a notebook so that you can write down some of the points you pick along the way. We are going to take this tutorial as simple as possible. So let's get started. So um, we are going to first create a table and then uh, to create a table we'll use the create table query and the name of the table and then we give it a column which is called the name and the type of data that uh, the name column takes in and a geometry column which takes in geometry type and then you're going to insert into the table some values a point a line string polygon a polygon in the whole a collection and also we are going to check uh, the geometries of the table so to create a table we are going to use the create table command and you are calling our table geometries and then we give it a column called name and it's going to be a var a character varying type and then we also give it a column named geom it's going to be geometry type and run that and if we go to our tables and refresh we will see a table called geometries that has been created with the two columns name and geom so use the insert into and then the name of the table So insert into the name of the table which is geometries and then the values okay so um the first value we're going to have a point so the name of the of the first value will be a point and then the geometry will be point let's say zero zero this will need to be in in quotation marks like that and then next let's create a line string so we'll just call it line string and then it will be type line string so they keep on forgetting to put the line string and then we we'll just say the first point is zero zero actually at the uh, the points should not have a comma in between them so we have zero zero then the next point will be one one then the next point will be 2 1 and the last point 2 2 next let's create a polygon then it will be a polygon type and let's see the values will be so for the polygon we need to enclose it within another uh, bracket so it will be zero zero uh, hmm. one zero one one mm -hmm. zero one and for polygon the first starting point is the ending point so it will be zero zero and then next we have a polygon with a hole so polygon With hole, and I'll be explaining later on what a polygon with a hole looks like. So it will still be a polygon, but now you have a hole. So once again, for a polygon, you have two brackets a bracket within a bracket, then 0, 0, 10, 0, 0, 10, 0, 0. And then for the hole, so we'll put a comma and now give the value geometry values for the hole, which is 1, 1. 
one, two, 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 and then one, one, which is the starting point. Geometry collection, we'll just call it collection. And then geometry collection type. Then within the geometry collection, we can have a point, point, zero. Point and the values zero to zero are the coordinates. Then we also have a polygon. And the polygon has uh, double brackets, so zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, then zero, zero. So don't get confused with all of those brackets. Then we can close that. Now let's run our query. And we already have a problem. So our table is drawn on trees. We named it wrongly. So I'm just going to rename it to the same name as what exists in our table. So we will refresh our geometry table and show the values, view all data. We can also check this by using a select query. So select and then the name and also, so here we have uh, ways that you can view the geometry and you can view the geometry as text. You can view it as a GML, you can view it as a GeoJSON, you can view it as a, a, a binary. So there are many ways to view uh, your geometry and you are going to be viewing it as a text. So the output will be the geometry. So you give it to, to view it as a text, you just use the function called st as text. And then within that, it takes in the column which has the geometry, which in our case is the geom column, and then from the table called geometries. That. So, in the future video, I'll have to have fixed that. So, run that. As you can see, the st as text, this column um, appears to have the geometry displayed in this format. So you can also give your column, instead of your column having this weird name, st as text, you can give it a name by saying as geom. So the column name will be renamed to geom, like that. If you open QGIS to check the data that you had loaded on Postgres, you'll see um, the data types. There is the geometry, which is a line, the point, and also a polygon. So if you don't know how to connect PostgreSQL to QGIS, I already made a tutorial on that, and I'll link it also. So if we drop this line string into QGIS, you see this line, a point, you see that point, and if you drop the polygon, you see a polygon with a hole. So this kind of polygon, as I had mentioned, will have two rings. One outer ring and an inner ring. Uh, there are various ways of representing real world objects. And whatever is returned can be viewed in various ways. So you can view the geometry type using the ST geometry type. And it returns the type of geometry, either it's a point, a line, or a polygon. You can view the number of dimensions that the geometry has and you can also view the spatial reference identifier number of the geometry. So, um, for example, in our case, we can try and view the name, the geometry type, the number of dimensions and the S read. In order to do that, just clear this. So we are going to view the geometry type so you use st geometry type and give it the name of the column that contains the geometry then st number of dimensions and also we can check the s read st the s read and it's the geometry which is taken into so if we run this, 
we see that um, all of them have 2D kind of structure. Uh, for now, the S read is 0, 0, 0 all the way. If you want to know what S read is, I had explained in a previous tutorial, so I'll link it. You can watch it first. Then um, the geometry type is shown. We have the point, the line string, polygon, geometry collection. Now, when you want to query a point object, you can view it as a text and then the geometry whereby we are filtering the value by a point. So you can also um, apply various functions to points. You can check the ordinate, the x ordinate or the y ordinate just by using stx or sty. Select stx and then the geometry and STY the geometry from the geometry scholar where this can also be in small letters it doesn't matter where the name is equal to point Remember to put it within the quotation marks, single quotation marks, and then so we see that uh, the values are zero zero. So if the coordinates were zero zero for uh, the geometry which had a point. As we had mentioned earlier, line strings uh, represent a path or the connection between these points or a route. So they have a starting point and an ending point. And there are various special functions that can be applied to a line string. You can check the length, you can check the starting point, you can check the end point, and also you can check the number of points that exist within the line string. So you can have a line string as this or a multi-line string. Now let's try and find the length of our line string. So we'll select st, the length, let's also get the name first, and then the, the length takes in the geometry from the geometry table where the name is equals to line string. So we have our um, line string and this is the length of the geometry. So try out uh, these other functions that the length takes in, such as the end point, the number of points, the starting point. Now you can also uh, query a polygon. For polygons with holes, they usually have more than one hole. A polygon without a hole by default has only one ring, but a polygon with a number of holes has more than one ring. So a ring is what encloses the polygon and it's usually a line or rather the boundary. So to check um, something like the area, you can use ST area. You can also check the number of rings that exist. You can check the exterior rings geometry by using the st exterior you can check the interior ring and also the number of you you provide the geometry and also the position of the ring you want to check and then you can check the perimeter of the geometry whereby you want to find out the length of all of the rings so let's try and check the area of uh, our polygon We'll select name and also check the area of the geometry from geometry table where the name is equal to polygon and run that. We get the area is 1 in this case. Finally, we have collections. 
and we had already mentioned collections in our previous tutorial i'll also leave a link on that but basically we have a collection of geometries you can have a point and a polygon within one um, collection you can have a line also within the same connection meaning you can either check the geometry the area of the geometry you can check the length of the geometry if it's a line so in our, ca in our case we are going to check um, the number of geometries that exist within our collection so we are going to check the number of geometries so select the name and then give it the geometry column from the table which is geometries where the name equals to collection so we have two geometries and in our case we had a point and a polygon so all of this time we have been looking at the output as a text using ST as text and this is mainly WKT which is well known text you can also view your output as binary which is WKB you can view it as a GML you can view it as a GeoJSON KML or SVG all you need to do is say ST as GeoJSON or SC as GML or SC as KML and the output will be different so join me in the next tutorial where we look at spatial relationships and yep that is the end of the video and guys if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a like bye